songs of worship at the grotto. This is how the Sisters of Mary Immaculate start their day. It's been a daily routine that has stood for 100 years now. In 1918, three eager women from Madari responded to the call to devote their lives to God as Catholic nuns. Little did they know, as Superior General Mother Mary Isaac narrates, that a century later, their obedience would be the beginning of the transformation of not just this sublocation in Nyeri, but the East African region. Three of them, that was Amalia, Melania, and also uh, Sicilia. They were not even baptized. They were not Christians. They were just pagan, illiterate girls. But God touched them. And he enlightened them to listen to the voice that they were hearing deep within their hearts. And they, were, they consoled each other, and they went to seek for the light. They found their parish priests, who was Father Gabriel Pello, and Father was very excited, but he was shocked to hear, only within a short time, God has already penetrated in the lives of these Africans who didn't, they said they didn't know God. And so he started directing them by giving them some prayers to pray and some works to do in the parish. And after a while, he introduced them. After seeing the seriousness, the, he introduced them to the vicar, apostolic vicar Ian Nyeri, who had come to Mogoiri to give a confirmation. <laughs> Our congregation, now Sisters of Mary Immaculate, started impacting the society in teaching and in health ministry and also pastoral work and of course in social ministries. Today the order runs 29 schools, four hospitals, three community outreach centers and has a presence in Tanzania, Uganda, Zambia, Italy and the US. The calling is a mystery itself. We make three vows that is chastity, I'll never get married to any man of this world. I'm only married to God. And I also make a vow of poverty. And we also make the vow of obedience. It's a tough choice that more and more women are not willing to take on, seeing convents close down in the West. However, the vibrancy of the Catholic faithful in Africa has seen an interesting dynamic in recent years. Right now, today, the move is going to the West to reawaken them, as the Holy Father is saying, wake up. We have our sisters, particularly at the moment, who are working in Italy in two parishes. And you hear that people don't go to church anymore. So I think the main issue is that faith has really gone down. And even against that reality, the nuns here soldier on and are quite self-reliant, growing their own food, making their own habits, and selling some of their produce from their vast tea and coffee farm in Madari. As the order prepares to celebrate 100 years in October, Superior General Mother Mary Isaac hopes the Sisters of Mary Immaculate can keep the faith alive and encourage more women to take the road less traveled. <laughs>